Bringing dogs along on vacation is one of my specialties. Whenever we go on vacation, we love to bring our dogs. And if you haven't already, bringing your dogs to the beach is one of the best times that you'll have. But there's some important information that you need to know about what to pack, behaviors to train, and rules to follow so that you make sure you and your dog can have a great time. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior, and in this video, we're going to share with you some tips to help you make the most of your beach vacation. The first thing that we need to talk about is what to bring along when you head down to the beach with your dogs. First, we'll need a towel for them to lay on, bags to clean up, a bowl with lots of fresh water to keep them hydrated and cool, treats to reward good behavior and help them relax, and a nice backpack to put it all in. The backpack is convenient because then your hands are free to be able to hang on to your dog. For longer duration and stationary activities down by the water, you might want an umbrella for some extra shade, a portable fan to help create a little bit more of a breeze to cool your dog off, and if your dog has a hard time settling and relaxing, you might find that bringing along some Kongs or other stuffables and chews will be helpful. If you're like me, you're very concerned about your dog overheating. For us, we normally take our trips during off season in the winter, which normally frees up the beach quite a bit and creates for a cooler environment. But no matter what time of year we go to the beach with our dogs, we need to make sure that we're aware of signs of overheating. You can test the temperature of the sand just like you do with pavement by putting your hand on the sand and seeing how long you can hold it. We wanna make sure that we can hold our hands there for at least five seconds. If it's too hot for your hand and your bare feet, then it's definitely too hot for your dog to be walking on it also. Now that we know the temperature of the sand, we know when we can go out. Generally, the sand and the air temperature is gonna be cooler in the morning and in the evening, which is a great time to get all of our exercise in. If you're planning on spending some time out during the day with your dog, you'll definitely want to have some shade and plenty of fresh water available. This will help them stay out of the sun and stay cool. And when you start feeling overheated, chances are your dog definitely is too. So go ahead and take a dip. Allow your dog the chance to get in the water to cool off a little bit. If you're planning on doing any water activities while you're at the beach with your dog, like kayaking, canoeing, or paddle boarding, we definitely recommend having a life vest for your dog. We also recommend having a life vest on your dog if they enjoy swimming. Oftentimes dogs will overdo it. The life vest not only helps keep them afloat easier, but it also has a handle, which makes it easy for you to grab onto your dog if you needed to for safety. With a life vest on your dog, it'll make it easier for your dog to stay afloat, which means more fun time in the water. While you're out in the sun and water with your dogs, do make sure that you're keeping a close eye on them for signs of overheating. This could include heavy panting to the point where they can't catch their breath, excessive drinking, seeking out shade, digging, and exhaustion. If you're starting to notice any abnormal signs, make sure that you get them inside to cool off right away. The point of going to the beach is to have fun with our dogs, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to spend all day with us. If you wanna do some relaxing during the day by yourself, then make sure that you get your dog out early in the morning and get some exercise. Early morning exercise will not only help burn off that energy in appropriate ways, but it'll also make it easy for them to settle inside the hotel or rental house while you head out on your own solo adventure. And if you are planning on keeping your dog with you while you hang out on the beach, then you definitely will wanna get that exercise in. It's hard for our dogs to be stationary when their physical and mental needs have not been met yet. So make sure that you get out for that early walk, hike, or bike ride before you plan on sitting and hanging out. When researching beaches and trying to figure out which place we might like to go with our dogs, it's important that we look at local rules and regulations. At many beaches, there are protected sand dunes and natural wildlife that we might encounter. For some dogs, like reactive dogs or nervous dogs, certain wildlife might be too overwhelming and might not be the relaxing experience you're looking for. We also want to be aware of any additional restrictions due to any health concerns or water tide conditions. And while some beaches are dog friendly, they do have restrictions for time of day and time of year. So make sure that you look at the beach that you're planning on going to, to make sure it's going to suit your needs. 
There might be some additional training considerations that you would take prior to your departure. We certainly would want to work on leash manners if we're planning on doing some long beach walks. And remember that with the additional excitement provided by the waves and wildlife, that leash walking might be a little bit harder than your dog is used to. So don't be afraid to bring some treats along so that you can reinforce your dog for making good choices, like checking in and giving attention and walking forward with a loose leash. Depending on the wildlife around, you might find some things washed up on shore that you don't want your dog getting into. So be sure to have an attention grabber like the name game or even a good leave it just in case you encounter something unexpected. Another thing to consider regarding your training is whether or not your dog has to be on leash or has the ability to be off leash. Different beaches have different restrictions and different leash laws, so make sure that above all, you're following those guidelines first. And when deciding whether or not your dog can be off leash, there's definitely some considerations that we need to take. Does your dog have reliable eye contact on cue? Does your dog have a reliable recall even with big distractions? Does your dog have the ability to be social with people and other dogs without disturbing them? These are all important questions that you should think about before deciding to let your dog off leash. Going to the beach with your dog is a ton of fun, but just like any dog friendly vacation, you need to put in a little work in advance to make sure the trip goes smoothly. Researching where you're gonna stay, what regulations the beach might have, what wildlife might be around, and of course, planning any additional training that you might need to brush up on before your trip. But with a little planning ahead of time, you and your dog are much more likely to have a smooth and stress-free trip. If you're looking to go on a vacation with your dog, I think that you might like this video here. It goes over how to travel with your dog, some safety considerations, and how you should prepare. Happy travels.